On July 7, 2011, Major General William Grizzoli visited the communities of Pier and Fort Pier in South Dakota, as well as Oahe Dam, to see firsthand the impacts of the flood of 2011 and the ongoing efforts by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and city and state entities in fighting the floodwaters. Grizzoli is the Deputy Commanding General of Civil and Emergency Operations for the Corps. The key for us now is, is to continue to make sure we take care of public safety and life and property and work together as a team. That's the all hands on deck. That's making sure we operate the system as a system, uh, continue to work together, inform people of the risks, so everybody understands the risk at hand. We try to mitigate that risk, but there's always going to be risk there. Joining General Grizzoli in the visit was South Dakota Governor Dennis Dugard. Governor Dugard stressed the need to remain focused on the most important matter at hand, preserving life and property. I think it's very difficult at this stage to judge what were the factors that led up to this event. I've been focused mostly on responding and helping people protect themselves, helping people deal with ongoing flooding issues. And although many want to look for causation, uh, there'll be plenty of time for that later. Uh, the facts that led up to this event won't change. And uh, I know that the Corps, uh, even as we speak, is still dealing with some major downstream issues, major levee building projects and flooding. Uh, even though the, the situation here in South Dakota uh, is uh, unchanging at this point, uh, is still rapidly changing downstream. During a tour of the levees, General Grizzoli stopped to talk with a staff officer of Task Force 152 of the South Dakota National Guard. The task force is one of several that rotates in to patrol and help maintain the temporary levees. Her unit has responded twice as a quick reaction force to issues dealing with the levees. General Grizzoli presented Captain Jerry Fossheim with the commander's coin for her leadership. And then I have two other coins. I want you to thank some of your soldiers. Oh, I can do that. Who are doing great work, too. Just thanks for what you're doing for South Dakota and what you're doing with the Corps. Thank, Thank you, sir. Very much. very much. Thank you. Thank you, these two Thank you sir. So. It, I appreciate this very much. It's quite the honor. Thank it's you. Thanks a little for unexpected, doing. so I apologize if <laughs> no, I see you. No, that's okay. We're, we're very proud of it. I appreciate that very and much. We sir. all wear the same uniform, we're all on the same team. Throughout the visit, General Grizzoli maintained an eye on the immediate needs faced by communities in the Missouri River Basin, as well as what repairs may be required for the main stems and levees when the waters begin to recede. What we also see is that as this the water goes down, there's still work to be done. And what we're trying to do is better understand that, what has to be done in the near term before we maybe have an event like this again, and what needs to be done in the long term. Governor Dugard echoed General Grizzoli's comments, noting that the work has only begun in South Dakota. I think it's been good for me to be here with the court today. Uh, I've learned a little bit about our spillway gates here at uh, the Oahe Dam. I've learned about their uh, plans going forward insofar as evaluating not only what caused the flooding condition, but what uh, uh, changes have to be made to the uh, addressing erosion, adjacent to the spillways, addressing siltation behind the spillways, a lot of things that are below the surface and uh, or not immediately needed to deal with the flooding but have to be dealt with in the aftermath. For more information on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers continuing flood fight activities in South Dakota and throughout the Missouri River Basin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.